We can start whenever we're just yapping. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that is such a good question. Oh no, I did not expect this question. <laughs> Are there any like game day like superstitions or routines that like you have? I personally have to have a banana an hour before. <laughs> I like to write in a journal what my goals are for the game okay. and kind of just like self meditate. I do get quite nervous on game day so I'm just trying to you know channel the inner um, nerves. I wear odd socks. That started when I was competing at athletics when I was at the Paralympic Games. Wow, okay. Any sort of like drink, so water or up and go or something, I have to give the first sip to like the gods. Having like thanks to, to God and um, to my community for um, getting me to where I am. So I have to give that first token to them. I like to step on the field with my left foot. Okay. It's a weird kind of, I don't know why. It's just, I always do it with my left foot. Definitely like the music going, getting the vibes on. Um, and definitely have some maybe beats going on. Who's <laughs> allowed on the music, I think is a good question. Yeah. <laughs> um, Caitlin's definitely got our music sorted. The other day we were literally just singing high school music. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sometimes a few of the girls ask for like, Taylor Swift or or, um, or High School Musical. I think we need more upbeat than like yeah. <laughs> love songs and stuff. So I think Caitlin, Caitlin's the go-to. When you go to like a time zone or like an arcade, do you have like a go-to game to do? <sighs> do you know like the tower one where you have to stack it into towers and it's like, and it goes across? Oh, where it's like you have to press the And button. you have to press yeah. it? Yeah. I love that one. I do like the air hockey. Good choice. Um, just because, you know, you, I think it's sort of like shooting goals, right? <laughs> so I do like going with my friend in the basketball or something like that. So you just keep going as quick as possible to try and get as much points because yeah, I'm there to win. I would go f straight to like the basketball shooting okay. one. I think it's a bit of a connection to my childhood. My very first sport that I ever tried was netball um, and I loved shooting. So oh. I think it's just something that every time I go reminds me of that. Outside of the game, like do you have any like hobbies or like, like what do you do outside of it? <sighs> I'm someone that loves to be in my bed. I'm such a homebody. I love playing with my little fur ball baby. She, her name's Rosie. Oh. She's two, I got her two years ago the other week and she's just so growing, so up, growing oh, up so much and I'm just missing her. I love going to the beach. Newcastle, I mean, I know I'm a bit biased, but Newcastle <laughs> has the best beaches. Um, I actually still do physical culture, which okay. is a form of dancing. Um, for me, it's just a really nice time to just step away from football, um, get off the pitch, but do something where I'm still moving and still being social. And especially it's that thing of connecting with people that I've known for nearly my whole life. I have got a yacht. Okay. Um, that I was planning on living on until I oh, wow. got a scholarship at college. So college uh, at the University of Sydney set me up for, for two years, but I was planning on living on that wow. because it was going to be cheaper than renting in Sydney. I did track and field for a while and then I stopped this year to focus on my football. Okay. I um, also, I, do, I like drawing as well. I do take um, my dogs on walks. I like hanging out with my dogs a lot. And I like also playing the Wii. We still have the Wii and have <laughs> games on that. When you're at like training, like, is there anyone that just loves to practice their like goal celebrations? Oh yeah, Lainey. Probably Lainey Harrison. Lainey is number one for goal celebrations. <laughs> Lainey has the randomest <laughs> celebration. She was actually practicing last night when we had training session. Oh, OK. On. There's a few good ones out there, so you should be watching. <laughs> it's only just yesterday that she's got a few ideas. Um, so we'll see if they actually happen or not. I'm really excited to see. <laughs> I think I do have a couple under the belt for the World Cup if I do score. Ooh, so okay. look out for that. It's like, what does it actually mean to be able to put on the Paramatildas jersey? Like, how does it feel when you get to put it on? It's absolutely insane. When I was a little kid, they told me that I would not be able to play sport. My left side was quite weak. Like little Carly would have never uh, imagined that I would take it further and um, be able to represent my country. I'm learning not to take anything for granted. It's such a privilege and it's so special to be able to don the green and gold. You really don't know how your body is going to take, take things and um, yeah, so I'm, I'm very grateful, very, very thankful to be able to wear this again. You know, to wear the Australian crest to represent your country, it's just something else, like, it's just awesome. I think it's just more about empowering girls and boys out there with disabilities. I grew up with not many avenues and 
being able to be that avenue for younger generations is so exciting. The feeling is unmatched. Just having that emblem on your chest and, you know, singing the national anthem with just the best bunch of girls and, you know, playing a sport you love. Yeah. Nothing, nothing will come close to it. It's just an amazing feeling. Oh my goodness. Um, it, it means the world. Um, it's, it feels different to putting on any other shirt and it's really special um, because no matter how many times I've now been privileged enough to put this jersey on, um, it hasn't changed how special it was. If anything, I feel like it's become even more special. Um, and it does get a bit emotional even walking in today to pick up our jerseys and just seeing them for the first time in this environment. It yeah. kind of just, that emotion hits again. Um, and I, I think about younger me, I think about the young kids with CP who I coach um, and it, I just can't wipe the smile off my face once I'm in this kit. I've never actually thought of myself here before so I've always been very, I only got introduced to this last year so wow. it's been, very, been a very big two years which is very exciting for me and it's a, just a huge honour to represent my country. I've been on three senior teams now and I don't think the feeling has come close to this. I think wow. I've always loved my other sports and, and being an individual athlete and having my own goals has been really special but to have a team goal um, and to have these girls with me and behind me and always supporting me in everything that I do, I think it's the value of it is so much more than I could have ever imagined.